Britt, this is a heated and passionate election year, and it's turned ugly at times. To make sure that things are staying civil at the polls, workers right now are getting very special training before Election Day this year. Our Jeremy Brilliant has a look at the extreme efforts that are underway to make sure that voters stay safe. Jeremy. Amory, you mentioned those poll workers getting some extra training. IMPD, they have a plan in place, but even if there is a problem at a polling place like here at this school, IPS 27, it really won't affect the children because at this district, IPS and several other districts, the kids don't have school that day. So far, thousands of people have voted early in Marion County. Here to vote today? Yes. All right, you'll just hop in line down there to the left. They'll take care of you, and you'll exit out the same way you came in. Thank, Thank you. you. Yep. And despite the fact they passed through no security checks. We have not had one issue with security. Still, officials are bracing for the actual election day on November 8th. The issue has been brought up to us. What are you going to do if there is um, an emergency situation at a polling location with an angry voter or something like that? We've instructed our poll workers to uh, call 911 if there's an emergency. One, you know, absolutely call 911 if there's an emergency. And if that does happen, don't expect to see uniformed officers in squad cars. IMPD's election day plan includes plainclothes officers in unmarked cars. In a situation like that, you know, you could see somebody going in the boat, see these police cars there, don't go vote. And then next thing you know, they forget to do it or something comes up and they're not able to do it. So, again, this is why we, we choose a more discreet way in dealing with these particular instances should they arise. Many schools which serve as polling places have opted to cancel classes for the general election. That removes the potential security threat posed by allowing the voting public to come in contact with students. But it isn't a response to this contentious election. It's honestly not something that we've even talked about um, in the district and it's something that we worked into our calendar I believe two years ago not knowing what this election would look like. So many students, again, will not be in class that day, won't be affected if something does happen. And again, poll workers in Marion County in the past, they have been advised to call lawyers if there is a problem with uh, illegal campaigning near a poll site. But this is the first year they are being advised to call police if they even sense the potential for violence. Anne-Marie, back to you.